now, it's time for your, what, are you kidding me? Stories of the day. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all. I am your, what are you kidding me, anchor man? Fitz, standing by with the news that did not make the news, breaking every single hour. I think that's very important. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Critical. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to take you out of the Czech Republic, ladies and gentlemen. You know, one time I was dating this girl. She was Czechoslovakian. and I took her to my house. And I go, Mom and Dad, I'm like, do you like this person? My parents said, no, get her out. And I go, why? And they go, because we don't accept checks. <laughs> Let's proceed with the story. Out of Czechoslovakia. Earlier this week, a 36-year-old man was eating some chocolate pudding for dessert when the restaurant told him they were closing and he had to leave. So he did what most of us probably wouldn't do in that situation. He went home and grabbed a chainsaw, and uh, he cut his way back into the restaurant to finish his pudding. Their, their chocolate pudding must be amazing. It must be so good. I mean, you could just go yeah. to the grocery store and buy some more, but I well, mean... No, this, it, must, <laughs> this must be some special chocolate pudding. What's in that pudding? <laughs> it's conspiracy. I really do want to investigate what is in that pudding. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's go to page two. What? what are you kidding me? I'm going to take you out of Boston. Hey, let's go park the car. I'm going to take you out of Boston. Can I make one more post? Last Saturday, cops in Boston broke up an underage party and arrested 19-year-old David White. Now, David tried calling people to come bail him out. Nobody picked him up. So he starts begging the cops, listen, can I just make a post on Facebook for somebody to come pick me up or Snapchat? Guess what? Shortly after they allowed him to do it, two people showed up with bail money to get him out of jail. Yeah, I'm telling you what, millennials. <laughs> the future. This is the price of not using your phone like it's intended to be used. Uh huh. To get out of jail? <laughs> 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 exactly. That's what we're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you make like a little GoFundMe for? Well, bl- actually, you know, <laughs> Facebook has has saved a bunch of people in weird situations. If they were having emergencies, they they couldn't, you know, for some reason dial a number, so they posted, "Help me now." I'm at in all their. I mean, everybody sees it on Facebook, and then wow, help help is to the rescue. Wow. That's pretty unbelievable. It is. Good All job, right. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, what are you kidding me stories? <laughs> well, it's like here in the studio, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, but yet have no service on my phone. So God forbid something happens, I'm going to be So she's right texting all her friends, to... save me. These guys I'm... are driving me yeah. crazy. All right. <laughs> all right, there you go. You got the what are you kidding me stories of the day breaking every single hour.